fallout began right after the terrifying gales of wind danced through this Hope Sound neighborhood shortly after 6 a.m. We heard the warnings. We're in the I was out back, actually, and all of a sudden, it just went snap, snap, snap. Scott Dean and his family raced inside. You could just see it come in, so we ran into the closet because that was the only room that didn't have windows. And it was, it was really scary. Moments later, it was over, and they discovered their banyan tree crashed into the roof, debris everywhere, and Brittany's car smashed. It sounded like a train just without the whistle, and, I mean, you could hear everything starting to hit the house, and... It was, yeah, it was very scary. I think it was a tornado for sure. The winds carved a line of damage from just west of A1A across at least three streets, upending trees, peeling tile off roofs, and battering cars. We've got no reported injuries. So, so far, it looks like everything's pretty good. Even as firemen checked the worst hit homes just to make sure, the neighbors pitched in to help each other. Very surprised. My uh, girlfriend called me this morning and said, you've got to see our house. It's a mess. And I was, you know, you never think it's as bad as they describe, and it was pretty bad. Some jumping on their tractors. <laughs> Others carrying brush, helping to rake. Even children pulling their bundles. Every house within hours sporting a neat pile of debris marking the force that spun through and yet spared lives.